Merging Variables. Open the combined data set, Practice Data 1-2, that we created in the previous lesson. Or, if you don't have Practice Data 1-2, open Practice Data 1 and substitute that data everywhere Practice Data 1-2 is mentioned in this lesson. Practice Data 1-2 has 400 individuals. And for each individual, the variables ID, sex, program, major, and three sets of GRE scores. Open Practice Data Set 3. We can see that Practice Data 3 contains ID numbers 1 to 200. That is, it contains data for the same 200 individuals that were in Practice Data 1, or for the first 200 individuals in the combined set Practice Data 1-2. This new file, Practice Data 3, however, contains three additional sets of GRE scores for these 200 individuals. We want to combine Practice Data 1-2 with this file, Practice Data 3, so that all six sets of GRE scores for the first 200 individuals are contained in one file. Important! Before we can merge variables, both files must contain a variable we can use to match rows from the two files, and both files must be sorted by this variable before merging, or the merge may not happen correctly. The matching variable must have the same name in both data files. In this example, ID is the matching variable, so we will sort by ID by right-clicking the column heading and selecting Sort Ascending. Then save the file. Return to the Practice 1-2 data either by using the Open command or using the Recently Used Data command. Sort the file by the ID column, then save the sorted file. We now are ready to merge the two files. Select Data, Merge Files, Add Variables. Choose the file you want to add. In this example, we're adding Practice Data 3 to the already open Practice Data 1-2, and click Open. On the right, we see variables that will be included in our new data set, which combines the data from Practice Data 1-2, and Practice Data 3. The variables with a star come from the current file, Practice Data 1-2. The variables with a plus are being added from Practice Data 3. To tell SPSS to match the rows for the same individuals in both files, we select Match Cases. I recommend keeping the default option both files contain cases. We must tell SPSS which variable to use to match rows from the two files. We used ID, so we move ID into the key variables box. Click OK, and SPSS gives us a warning about sorting. We sorted, so we click OK, and the variables from our two sets are merged into the current file. We can see that the new file contains variables for all six sets of GRE scores. Looking at the data itself, we can see that the fourth 
fifth and sixth set of GRE scores are missing for ID numbers 201 through 400. This is appropriate since practice data 3 only had data for the first 200 ID numbers. Let's save this combined file as practice data 123 so that the file name shows us which data is included in this file. Try combining practice data 1-2 with practice data 3 on your computer now. Don't forget to sort the matching variable ID before combining.